The newest season has been confirmed on World of Tanks console and today's video is showcasing everything you need to know about the new seasons that Wargaming have obviously confirmed and given us the actual title which is Steel Beast. So this is the Steel Beast season and as you can see in the background for the keen eyed of you it has the Czechoslovakian flag and so we will be seeing the Czech heavies coming into the game and we'll cover that in just a second. First things first, let's actually take a look at what you can get from the season because that is one of the most important things. What can we actually obtain as part of said season? Now we've got quite a lot of premium tanks that we will be able to earn and we're going to kind of see what those are, uh, whether they're actually worth paying the different fees that you have to pay or not pay depending on what you're fancying. Um, but yeah. Essentially, what we have is, of course, the Wojciech, which is the bear that you can see here. There is a 3D commander version. Uh, the free pass will give you the 2D commander version. You can see all of the stuff you can get here. There'll be up for grabs three premium tanks for, well, two premium tanks and a skin that you can get for free. The premium tanks that you can get for free are the CS52 list, which is the Polish medium. Uh, and then obviously you can get the tier five fighting girlfriend T34 medium tank, which is a tier five off the top of my head premium tank um yeah so nothing too special there to be honest with you uh, and then you can get the other 2d commander which is uh, maria i'm i'm sorry i'm not gonna butcher that but yeah for those of you that want to be able to obtain all of those you can get essentially six decent rewards from the free season pass however as with every season pass, if you do aim to get to rank 100 and you have 2,000 gold on your account, or maybe you don't even have 2,000 gold on your account, it is 100% worth you getting the actual normal season pass. And that's because it essentially gives you your gold back, plus it enables you to get rewards such as key cards uh, and stuff like that that will also be able to give you your gold back. And so it is almost entirely worth it for you to join the season pass, uh, whether you have 2000 gold on your account or you have to pay like six quid for literally like two months worth of content and you'll get that gold back, which you can then use on something else anyway um, in the long run. But Regardless of whether it's worth it, let's have a look at the things that you can get from just the standard season pass. So if you purchase the normal one, you'll get additional rewards at every level, which is what we talked about, where you can get key cards, you can get silver, you'll get more boosts, you'll get all sorts of different extras. Uh, but essentially the key things are that the tier five Sherman Grizzly one medium tank. So this is something that will be interesting, nothing too major, uh, but yeah, it's a tier five. You'll also then get the King Dragon type 59 medium tank uh, at level 75 which is a very decent reward actually um, and that's something that I've always found very very interesting and I would 100% get you guys uh, to kind of grind your way at least to level 75 if you haven't already um, and therefore you'll get the king tiger or the king dragon even type 59 and this is a really really strong tank it gets 390 alpha. It's very much like the um, the Type 59-2. It's basically the very similar tank, if not the exact same. This one obviously gets a bit better of a paint job. Looks kind of cooler if you're into that kind of style. But if you're not, then you know play the Type 59-2. But yeah, a very very solid tank, very very useful, and for a free tank essentially, as you can see down here. With enough gold to cover the next 2,000 gold season pass, tick. So yeah, Wargaming, admit, you can make the gold back to be able to purchase the next season. So you can essentially pay like £6 a year and get an entire year's worth, well, as long as these seasons run, essentially, as long as you keep that 2,000 gold. Plus, you always end up getting more gold and you also have the chance at getting uh, premium tanks as well. Uh, as part of the key cards that they give you in addition to the standard rewards that you will get with the free pass. Now then, the interesting part, the ultimate season pass, the one that everyone's kind of, should I or should I not pay the extra 4,000 gold that it will cost you? And that means that it will total 6,000 gold. So you can see here, 6,000 gold in the store. And this basically unlocks the ability for you to get to the top rank on the season as fast as possible. So by what I mean is you'll get 25 levels already completed. And trust me, this saves you a lot of time. 
And this really helps you out in terms of being able to get to the max level and then you get the extra silver, you get the extra gold, um, not the gold, but you get the extra um, XP as well. So once you over rank yourself over level 100, I think you have to get to like level uh, 125. There's no actual tiers on the actual screen on the season pass, but once you reach 125, you'll get plus 25% silver, you'll also get plus 25% XP. So essentially, instead of having having to go to level 125 to get that you'll only have to get to rank 100 um you know that that worth of points to be able to get that so it's really really beneficial but you know is it worth the 4000 gold probably not but key thing you also get a premium tank and it's the new Czechoslovakian tier 7 lioness skoda t45 heavy tank which to be honest with you I'm not entirely sure that this is going to be that good. It's a tier 7. Usually they're not particularly that great. The Skoda T45 is, yeah, very mediocre. Um, but the tier 8 version, the Czechoslovakian tier 8 premium tank, um, the Skoda T56, that is where it really comes in clutch. That is the broken tank that was on PC. And if you want to check out that video um, or the tank itself on PC version, I've got a video showcasing an, an amazing replay in the Skoda T56 that you can have a look at on the second channel, which I will link in the description of this video to go and have a look at that if you're interested. Uh, but we also then get the 3D Wojciech Commander and you also get an inscription. So yeah, essentially you're paying for an extra 4,000 to skip a load of levels, get more XP in the grand scheme of things, and you're also able to get um, a premium tank for 4,000 gold. We'll do a full review of the premium tank when it comes into the game. Uh, and so you guys will basically know whether you want to spend the extra 4,000 or just the standard 2,000. Wargaming are hoping to actually include a the ability for you to purchase the standard and then upgrade to the ultimate edition. And by upgrading, you'll get all of the rewards here in addition. So you could potentially like retroactively purchase the ultimate season pass uh, and then it will only cost you 4,000 gold to kind of get that upgrade so you can get this tank if you just want to get the season pass straight away but you're not entirely sure of whether you want to purchase it to get the Skoda T45 so hopefully that'll be in the game on launch but we never really know. Also the Steel Beast starter pack this is a in addition where Wargaming basically they launch some extra stuff there's not particularly anything too amazing um but you can get free starter pack one per account from the in-game store the playstation store or the xbox store and that basically gives you three days of premium five times two silver boosters which is nice five three times vehicle xp boosters and five four times commander xp boosters so this is all free all you have to do go to the store page within the game on april 19th or over and then you'll be able to get all of these boosters and premium account for free. So entirely for free. 100% very good uh, from Wargaming to give that to us. Uh, and I guess it's just kind of a little incentive to kind of get on and play as soon as possible. Now then, what else do you get? Well, the Steel Beast Season Tanks include, as we talked about, all of the ones that you could see. But if you already own them, which... Most people usually, if they've been playing for a long time, will have some of these, if not all of them. And so you'll get the silver equivalent of all of the tanks if you receive them again. Which, for me personally, I will be getting the um, Fighting Girlfriend probably again, the CS52. I don't think I have the Sherman Grizzly actually, and I don't think I have the King Dragon. So essentially I'll be getting 3.5 million silver plus these two tanks, which is cool definitely going to be a big bonus and hopefully you guys maybe have them as well or don't have them you know whichever you'd rather would you rather have a premium tank or would you rather have the silver but that is essentially what it is now then there is not only free tanks within the season there is also the release of german tanks within cold war mode and that introduces the leopard 1 a1 and it is a western alliance escalation era 2 medium tank so the leopard has come to cold war which i'm sure many of you will be very very happy about um and i'm going to be interested to see how this one actually plays within the game 
You can see a couple of screenshots here. It appears as though Cold War may even be getting El Haloof by the looks of it, or maybe that's just poor gaming's like error because you can't actually play El Haloof at the current moment in time. But maybe I'm wrong in thinking that this is El Haloof, but it looks like it to me. But here you go. This is what the leopard will look like. I'll uh, full screen it here so you can see it in a little more detail. Looks very much like the leopard normal. You've got a couple of differences. Um, yeah, I'm sure that this will be very, very good for some of you, but it will cost you 14,450 gold for you to purchase it. So you're going to be having to spend about £40 of your real money buying this tank within the game. And for me personally, I wouldn't really purchase it unless it's super, super good and really novel and you're just buying it because you're like, I really like the Leopard and I want to be able to own it within the game. But don't go feeling like you have to be pressured into buying any of this sort of stuff. I will do a full review on the tank very, very soon. One thing I really want to sneak in here, actually, is that the tank on reflection earns 65% silver. So this is one of the highest silver earn premiums on Cold War, which means that you're going to be able to absolutely farm a ton of silver. Unfortunately, you will have to pay for it. So, yeah, it's basically a silver farm. It seems like Wargaming's strategy now, instead of trying to, like, sell you premium tanks on the World War II version, and they basically give away all of the new premiums that come onto World War II, uh, they use the Cold War version to sell the silver earning potential for the game as like the silver economy version. We talked about earlier in the video the Skoda T45 and whether it would be good or not. And we can actually take a look at some pictures of the tank itself and also the characteristics of the tank. And we'll run through those in a second to give my very initial opinion on the tank. Um, obviously, I haven't played it yet. And I will play it as soon as it comes out and we'll do that review for you. Uh, but essentially, this is what it looks like. What does the statistics say, though? So, looks like, have we got two rounds? Well, we've actually got two, well, three different types of rounds. One of them's AP, one of them's heat that has terrible shell velocity um, and the HE as well. You got, doesn't look like we've got an autoloader on the tank, which is a little bit, oh, no, we do. Apologies, we do have an autoloader, but it's like the T-54E2. If you've ever played the American uh, heavy tank that has the ability to pick between having a single fire gun or an autoloader, that is what this tank has as well. Now, one thing to note about the tank, however, is that it's got 0.4 accuracy uh, for the autoloader and 0.38 for the non-autoloader version. So the tank is severely inaccurate, to be honest with you. Um, and so there's almost no point in actually playing with the single fire gun. Autoloaders are always the better way to go because they have better kind of... Um, they have so much more potential to deal a lot more damage and I really do recommend you actually do that. 2.7 second aim time, 0.4 accuracy, three shots in the clip, uh, rate of fire just a little bit worse, like yeah you lose 10% of your DPM but to be honest with you like it's going to be better in all regards, intricate reloads 2.7 seconds which isn't the best so it's looking like the tank will be a little bit tedious to play with, it does have 220 alpha so you're looking at 660 with the autoloader or obviously 220 with just the single shot, 7 degrees of gun depression, 35 kilometers an hour top speed nothing too special 370 meters view range which isn't awful but yeah it's not groundbreaking but there we go uh i think that the tank is going to be a very interesting one i don't think that we can call it right here right now as to whether it's going to be broken or whether it's going to be terrible um or whether it will just be average i just think that the tank looks like it's going to be one of those that is very much dependent on the playstyle that you enjoy rather than the tank being particularly that great in the game you've got to be used to playing the autoloaded versions of the tank um on world of tanks that is and hopefully uh, it will be decent to start with. But that doesn't really matter because eventually we will be getting the actual Czechoslovakian heavy tanks coming into the game. And I would expect roughly two weeks after the release of this tank, we'll be seeing the full tech tree line of the Czechoslovakian heavies that I will love to see within the game. It will be really, really interesting to see how Wargaming deal with them, whether they're as good as they are on the PC version or whether they kind of remain in the same sort of region. Now then, 
it's not a new tank as well. So talking about the next topic, which is the t- Skoda T50 skin. This looks pretty cool. I'm glad that Wargaming are bringing in new skins because I feel like it's just an extra. It's little uh, something else that you can see. You can see right here what the skin looks like. The Skoda T50 is amazing. It's not a premium tank. It's a tech tree tank and you will get it uh, from the completion of the free rewards at level 54. So this is a free skin that you can get and it does look cool. I'm looking forward to actually playing the Skoda T50. Or maybe I'll do a review of probably the best Czech autoloader tier for tier that is in World of Tanks console. And it is this tank here. I'm sure that if you've ever seen anyone on PC as well, you'll know that the Skoda T50 is amazing uh, tier for tier. And quite possibly, considering the Skoda TVP T5051 is my favourite autoloader in the game, that this one is probably going to be very good as well. The Steel Beast new commanders are also in here. We've got, obviously, as you can see on screen, the commander looks like Wargaming, uh, you know... You know how it is with, yeah, we'll release a, uh, a female commander. Seems like a, might be a nice uh, money-making tactic for them. But yeah, if you're not interested in any of that and you want to purchase a bear that's in the game now, well, Wojciech is here for you. And you can see him right here. But if you want to actually purchase them, they're 3,300 gold each, which is very expensive in my opinion. And so, yeah, I don't quite know how I feel about the pricing of those. But yeah, if you're interested in 3D commanders uh, that will earn you more commander XP, that I should grant them that to be fair. You'll get an extra 30%. But yeah, I don't quite know whether I'd spend 3,300 on a commander. Anyway. Regardless of all of that, reward list by level, we could go through and go through all of them, but we're not going to do that. You can get key cards and stuff like that, and you can see all of the rewards. You can look for yourself when it comes into the game. It's nothing new. Uh, the key ones being level 90 to get the top secret key card. Um, but that's not it. We also have um, season level skips, which... I want to say to you now, do not buy season level skips unless you are like a whale on World of Tanks because they are super expensive to get to the top tier. And often you could just buy the tank outright from the very beginning of the season and it will probably cost you less than skipping all of the levels uh, within the game. But there we go. Hopefully that gave you a good rundown of the new season. Obviously, we haven't actually got much information on the Czechoslovakian heavy tank tech tree line, but that will be coming in the next couple of weeks and we'll see exactly what Wargaming are planning, whether they're going to introduce this the broken Skoda T-56 into the World of Tanks. And of course, talking about that, the video on screen will link you to a World of Tanks PC video where we look at the Skoda T-56, which will be coming to the game at some point. Hopefully you enjoy and of course if you want to check out any playlists of gameplay and tank reviews they'll be on the right which go through a whole host of videos uh, that look at getting better and all of the sorts of gameplay stuff that can make you play hopefully a little bit better but other than that I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and a fantastic rest of your week and I hope that you have a great Easter because it is Easter weekend after all. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you there. Goodbye.